Hi there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Cynthia Orozco. I'm one of the career counselors at IVC. Um, and I, I do both uh, working individually with students in the Career Center. We facilitate uh, workshops year round to our different student demographics. And I'm also an instructor and teach several counseling classes. So happy to share what I learned. What I did was I took this curriculum and I implemented it in my classroom, so in group settings. So I'll be talking about two different ways that I put it into practice, uh, one on my own through my classes and the other one in collaboration with Fritzy on a project that we're working on through the Career Center. So going through the trainings and going through the information really, really inspired me and motivated me. A lot of the content that we talk about reminds me of uh, Yoso's Community Cultural Wealth Model. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with it, which teaches us that there's a lot of strength in places where we may not traditionally see them as strengths, right? Like having to translate for our parents or having to help our family members navigate like offices that they don't know. Um, so I took a lot of this understanding along with helping students reframe the perceptions of the skill set they had as first generation students, as first time students, as immigrant students, um, how to identify their strengths. So I put it into practice in three different classes, um, my college success strategies class, uh, which is a dual enrollment course. There's sophomores <laughs> all the way up to students finishing up their last year in community college ready to transfer. I put it into place in my career exploration class. There's a lot of first year students, a couple international students, um, students that were in their second year as well. And then the last place I put it into practice was in my introduction to college uh, course, which is dual enrollment at a continuation high school. Uh, there was a mixture of juniors and seniors. So I did different things in each, in each group. Um, one project that I did was I had students create a life journey, a, a physical map of significant memories or lessons that they went, uh, that they've gone through up to this point. I also had them write poems about who they were and different um, important pieces growing up culturally in their home, uh, family members, events, traditions that were significant to their journey. I also had another group of students create elevator speeches. Uh, this one was really cool because some of the students, this was their first semester in college and they're like, what? <laughs> I have to introduce myself to people. And I was like, yes, we're gonna do this. And I was preparing them for a, a job fair that we were gonna have on campus. And I challenged them to think of their strengths in a different way. For example, uh, one of my students said, well, I don't have any achievements. And I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, I'm like, did no, you graduate high school? I was like, he's like, yes, I did graduate high school. Okay, that's an achievement. I'm like, how did high school go? He's like, well, I barely passed. It was not, it was not a good thing. And I'm like, so what you're telling me then is that you, you kept pushing though, right? You kept pushing, you're persistent, you made it to college, you made it to class, you're asking me questions, right? So you're, you're taking initiative. And these are all skills. These are all transferable skills that you can talk about to introduce yourself. You can say, hey, I'm Ryan. You know, I'm really self-motivated. When things are hard, I find solutions for myself. There you go. That's, that's an achievement, right? So it was really interesting helping them come up with creative ways, um, culturally relevant ways, right? They, I didn't introduce them to that language, but helping them translate their experiences into valuable skills, giving them the language, laying it out, and having them practice with each other. One student actually had to go to a conference that weekend and she practiced, she practiced her speech uh, within that psychology conference that she was out up in San Francisco. And she was so grateful that we got to do it. And she said, I was super nervous, but I'm, it just worked out so perfect that I at least had a way of explaining myself and talking about some of the things that I did. And the last kind of assignment that I did with my other class was I had them do career research. And this was also very interesting. It was in my continuation high school where students are really in this class. They wanna finish, right? They wanna finish high school. They wanna get these credits. And they had a lot of misconceptions of what is required for some career options they were interested in. 
one student in particular said, well, I want to be a pediatrician, but I had no idea I have to do this much school. Um, I don't know if I can do it. Like I'm barely making it through high school. So again, challenging that thought process, uh, trying to identify different skills. I'm like, well, again, you're graduating. Um, what, why is it that you want to be a pediatrician? What is it that you like about it? And we started to talk about some of the things that excite her and get her motivated. Um, and through that activity, um, some of the students says, said that they feel more motivated than ever, like to finish high school, to go to college, to give it a shot. Um, even one student, he works at a butcher shop with his family and they have a family run business. I know he taught, he said he learned how to cut a pig's head. I was like, whoa, like <laughs> that's a skill. And then he's like, I don't need college. And I mentioned, yeah, you, you might not need it, right? You're learning a specific skill, but how, how does your family manage uh, finance for your company? Who does that for you all? And he mentioned his dad did it. And I said, well, here's where college can help you. Maybe you can take an Excel class that teaches you how to really manage those finances and really maximize the work that you do with your family. And that's just one semester, right? And he helping him find the connection between his goals, his strengths, his interest, and how we can use college to his advantage. Um, so in summary, I was super motivated. I did a lot of things. I feel that students uh, were able to really put into practice these exercises because I was vulnerable. There was a lot of trust in the class. Whatever I asked them to do, I did it as well. Um, and I just, I think it helped that environment. So in talking to Fritzy, we're super excited to create a cohort model uh, within the career centers, something similar to career launch and walk the students through these uh, exercises and uh, service the larger IVC community. So that's it. That's, that's, those are some things that we did.